Hi everyone! Today we want to talk about something very dear to us, especially to Lisa, <laughs> since she um, did it three times by now. And as you might know, this channel was founded because we went to Korea and we just did not go to Korea to travel, but also to learn Korean. And we did that with Sogon University's Korean Immersion Program, which, as Mom said, I did for the third time last year. Um, but it's so much fun and we made a video about the program this year on our other channel. So if you want to know anything about that, when it's going to happen, how much it's going to be, head over there. Um, otherwise, here we're going to just talk about our personal experience uh, within the program. Um, I think both of us can say with, that we enjoyed it a lot. Yes. I can tell you that I did not enjoy school at all when I went to school. And I was kind of scared I would not enjoy school even if I did it like by choice. But I did enjoy it a lot because everyone was so nice and everyone was just really um, passionate about <laughs> teaching. And all the other people we met are, were super nice as well. Um, so basically what you do um, at Sogang, well we stayed in the dorms. That being said first, I stayed in the dorms all three times that I went there. Um, first time in the old dorms, which was... Yeah! <laughs> but the new dorms are nice. Um, they are fine. And they feed you there. We shared a room, so yeah. you can, if you go with a friend, you can request to share a room. Or if you're feeling adventurous, uh, share a room with someone you don't know and try to talk Korean with them. Like Greta, she shared a room with a Korean girl. And that went well too. Yeah, I mean, the girl wasn't really around that much, but they got along, so I think mostly you get along with um, whoever you share a room with. Um, yeah, and they feed you twice a day, if you are into that. <laughs> I remember that two years ago I ate at least dinner um, almost every night at the dorm, but um, yes. for breakfast I, I also didn't. This Last year we, we barely ever ate at the dorm, yeah. which is stupid, because we paid for it, but... They served dinner from, I think, 5pm to 7pm yeah. and most of the time we were just out because um, we were going around the city, going around Shincheon where the Songang is located and we just didn't make it on time for dinner most of the time. But if you do make it on time, it's really, really good. I think the food is fine yeah. for dormitory so, food. Yeah, yeah it, it works. So it feeds you. It's okay. <laughs> um, for the course, you learn Korean via the Sogang books. Um, this is the one a Sogang book, and you get a little. I don't know what this is called. Grammar and vocabulary sub supplementary book. <laughs> it basically has all the vocab and the grammar in there explained again, which is really handy because you can basically take this everywhere and just. You know, if you're really studious, that's totally what we did. We just took this everywhere and sat down and studied. Well, you studied a lot this year. I did, I did. I really wanted to. I forgot everything, though. Um, and then you also get a workbook where you have tasks that you can do, um, yeah, that involve the grammar you learned before. If you want to study Korean by yourself, you can also get this at home. Um, you can get the workbook, you don't have to, though. Yeah. Like, if you're really studious, I think the textbook um, is enough already, but... They make you do the workbook tasks and it makes sense. You don't have to buy it at home though. You can buy it at the uh, local bookstore and you even get a 10% off. I think so, 10% discount yeah. with your student ID. You get a really cool student ID too, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Um, it makes you feel so special. <laughs> However, that's what you do in class, uh, in language class. And you have, I think, four hours, yeah, four hours of language class in the morning. Yeah. Two speaking, one reading, one writing or something. And it's also a good place to make friends because you're there with people who just want the same thing. They want to learn Korean, they want to have a good time. You just get along pretty easily. Uh, this time around we had a lot of Americans there. I think yeah. at least half of the people there were American. Most people in my class were Americans. Yeah. Were there any, like, three non-Americans, yeah. I think. So, well, the Canadian. So if you're not um, of the English-speaking nature, that was really awkwardly uh, worded. Mm -hmm. um, but you can practice your English too. Yeah. Even though you're supposed to practice your Korean. 
<laughs> yeah, but we had a friend with us who still goes to school. I think it did a lot for his English as yeah. well. He learned a lot. And then they take you out to things, which is also cool because we went to see a musical, a Korean musical. And afterwards we found out that it was like 60 bucks for one ticket. Yeah, it was really expensive. Yeah, and we got there for free. Well, it was included in the um, tuition fee. Well, that's really cool as well. Yeah, plus you don't pay the fee just for anything. Um, it's You really get something for your money in the end. We also went um, three years ago. Oh God. <laughs> three years ago and four years ago, we went to see a b-boy performance called Marionette, which was on Star King a long, long time ago. <laughs> I think in 2009 or something. Um, but that was really, really cool as well. This time it was kind of like a b-boy traditional Korean dance mix thing. It was really good. Misa yeah. was great. It, I really liked it. And they also take you to see a baseball game, which Mara didn't attend because she was sick, which is okay. It was really, really long. Um, if you're into baseball, that's great. For me, it was long, long, <laughs> basically just long. I don't know. I'm not into baseball at all. I don't understand baseball and yeah, but generally baseball games in Korea are so wow. People get crazy there. It's, it's really, they love baseball, they are so into baseball and so passionate about it. Um, they also have cheerleaders, so it's com a completely different culture from what you see anywhere else in the world. I don't know about Japan, but like anywhere else except Asia, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing is that there are a lot of people who do this program once or twice, like Lisa did. And if you, if you find those people, just stick to them because they mostly know their way around and you can just see where they go. Uh, for example, we met a super nice girl from Utah, I believe. Yeah. And she took us places, restaurants, Lisa hadn't even been to, and oh my god, the food. And she really knew her way around Korea, and it was like around Seoul, and it was super nice to hang out with her. She knew the best places. It was really yes. incredible, like right next to the university. A tiny hole-in-the-wall Korean restaurant thing that I would have never entered and she was like, yeah, this is the best place and we're like, okay, if you say so. And I think we went there with six people and sat around this tiny table but the food was so delicious. And so much for such little money. It was really great. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I missed this. <laughs> Try to find someone who already did the program maybe um, and follow them around. <laughs> it really helps. Um, they also make you sit through a lecture. This year, I think, or oh, last year, I think it was really interesting. It was about Korean houses. Um, we liked it. Yeah. Many people didn't attend because they were scared because it was a lecture, but it was it was really interesting. So even that part was great. Um, three years ago, it was about movies, I think. And then the first time I was there, I don't remember a lecture at all. Maybe it wasn't part of the... I really don't remember. Oh, they also give you the opportunity to um, do some K-pop dances, learn those dances and then record them. We didn't do that. Mm. I don't remember what I did. I did. Oh, you, you to... did. Um... Yeah, I did a uh, Korean drums, which was super fun. But sadly, I hurt my knee, and yeah. um, I couldn't uh, attend the last show. We <laughs> played in front of the camera, and I'm kind of not really uh, sad about it. <laughs> we yeah, we didn't have this this year. No, you didn't. Last but you year. had a meeting. Yeah, we had a meeting. <laughs> they call it meeting. As you know, meetings are Korean group dates. Um, it was just a really awkward situation where they put us in a room with some Korean students and made us talk. But in the end it was fun too. <laughs> um, yeah, that's something. You have to be very open-minded yeah. to have fun there. We... Especially I am a bit shy, but since I was alone in my class I got... I made friends, which I never really did in school. Um, and we just had so much fun with the people there. And Greta, for example, really cried when everyone was leaving yeah, because she was, was already, sad. already missing them. Um, so yeah, you, you can make great friends and you can have a lot of fun. Uh, something else that I did a long time ago <laughs> is the field trip. Um, I did it twice. Personally, I think the second time was a waste of money because, well, it was still really fun. But it was the same thing yeah. again, which is okay. Um, 
like I was really excited to see it again and that time I was able to listen to the whole program in Korean the first time they did it in English for like the lower levels um, but still uh, if you did it once you don't necessarily have to do it again if you have the money go for it well, I'm not gonna be in your way <laughs> but the future is great they take you to um, some places in Gangwon-do I think um, they take you to a traditional Korean village, they show you a mass dance, they take you to a tomb, they, um, I think, I'm not sure if they if we did that twice, but they took us to um, a little island where the, I'm not going to go into details because there's too much history involved here, but where one of the kings was held, um, well, hostage, not really, but where his prison was, basically, uh, when his uncle tried to take the country from him. And, Lisa really um, likes the historical aspect of Korea. I do, I do. <laughs> so that's what you do on the field trip and you also go um, water rafting. I don't know how you call it. Mountain rafting? Mountain I always I'm like water rafting. Um, <laughs> they take you mountain rafting, they take you to some uh, water amusement park which is really just like a public pool in Germany. Um, but it's sweet. They have a sauna too. That's nice. Um, so they take you places by bus for one weekend uh, but you'll be really tired when you get back, just yes. so you know. Like, you're gonna start all energetic and you're like, oh, this is my weekend, I'm gonna be relaxed. Nope, you're gonna die. It's really, really hard, but so much fun. Yeah. Um, you might be wondering if we're going to do this again and we might possibly not do it again, especially since Lisa did it three times. Um, I would consider it, but I kind of want to travel around Korea a bit more than just stay in Seoul. And this might be, I think, our next um, idea for when we go to Korea again. So, in theory we would like to do it again, but we won't probably do it anytime soon. It was fun though, it, we created so many great memories. And all of the teachers and staff are really, really nice and helpful. Just to say that again, they also they try to keep in touch with you um, a lot of times. Like my teachers, um, I still talk to some of them from three, four years ago. Um, my first teacher, who is now the program coordinator, always asks me when, especially when I see her there, how I was. She remembers me. She remembers everything I ever told her. She is so incredibly nice, and. That's something too. You don't only stay friends with the people who are in the program with you, like with the other students, but with the staff and the teachers as well. So yeah, you'll meet great people there. And that's one of the reasons why I would want to do it again. But then again, yeah, I think <laughs> three times <laughs> three is... times the charm. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> and now I'm a bit melancholic because I really miss it. But I think every one of you should check it out if you have the finance says if you have the finances go do it it's so worth its money and you will be super fearless in korean <laughs> you just you just have to be brave yeah to speak um and once you've overcome that shyness at the beginning and you're brave enough to speak in class you're gonna learn a lot yeah that's the most important part i think i mean you do that to learn korean right so once you're brave and once you're talkative, um, you'll get places at Sogang. And that was our video. If you liked it, please uh, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. There's loads we didn't talk about, um, but we tried to make it as informative as possible. Um, yeah, if you have any more personal questions, you can leave them here. If you want to know more about the program itself um, this year, head over to our other channel. We're gonna link the video somewhere um, so you can so, so you know all the details about well the program this year. Um, you can always email Sogang and ask them about the program. That's probably the best way to find out everything you need to know. And we will hopefully see you again in another video very soon. Bye! Bye.